Hello, welcome to another video from Ooze Nest. I'm Ryan and today we're going to go through V-Slot extrusions. I'm going to go through different types, the different uses and all the services we offer here at Ooze Nest. So the extrusion we sell is called V-Slot extrusion. Normally, extrusion like this is called T-Slot extrusion. Ours is called V-Slot because it has this V which runs down each side of the extrusion. Why we have the V is because when you use the extrusion with wheels like this, the wheels self-centre and run smoothly inside the profile. If you had T-slot, when you used a wheel like this, it would prematurely wear and create grooves in the wheel, and eventually the wheel would need replacing. With the V-slot, this isn't the case, and the wheels just run nice and smooth for precise linear motion. We have six extrusions in our V-slot range. The first is 2020. This has the V-slot on all four sides, it also has a 4.2mm hole. The reason it's 4.2mm is because it's ready to accept a 5mm tap, so then you can use 5mm bolts. Whereas a 20 by 40 this has a 40mm side with two grooves. Again, a 20mm side with one groove. 20 by 60 this has the three grooves on the 60mm side. Again, the one groove on the 20mm side. And then the 20 by 80 and this has four grooves on the 80mm side. Next, we have the 40 by 40 it's a 40mm by 40mm extrusion, and this has two grooves on each 40mm side. The final extrusion is the C-beam extrusion. This has a C-shaped profile. It's 80mm on the widest side, 40mm on the, the shortest side, and the, the inset is 20mm by 40mm. And this has grooves all the way around. The reason this is C-shaped it's going to easily put transmission components inside this C-channel. It keeps them contained from cutting debris. And it helps to make really compact linear actuators. All these extrusions come in silver anodized, but we also offer a black anodized if you want to add a bit of bling to your machine or printer. We also sell open rail extrusion. So if you already had something which used use T-slot, you can bolt this to the outside of the extrusion, like so, and then you put another one on the other side, and then you can, can use the dual V wheels along this extrusion to create a similar system to the V slot, sort of just like an inverted V slot really, but you need to make sure you buy the dual V wheels and not the solid ones, because they're the only ones which work with this open rail extrusion. V slot has many different use cases. A good one being linear actuators. So this is a, a stepper motor driven linear actuator. You can control this with something like an Arduino and it's a controller scan to plate to move up and down. So this uses a solid V wheels with the 20 volt extrusion. We do different types of these, you can make your own. You can also use ones with a C-beam extrusion and have like the screw running inside the C channel. You can use any length you want using belts. They're good for camera sliders. Um, if you want an application with just moving something back and forth this is what this is perfect for. Another major use case is CNC machines. So this is the work B CNC machine we've got here. As you can see, we've got the Z-axis here. This uses a C-beam like this one here for the Z-axis. Also uses a C-beam for the X-axis. And behind here, we've got lead screws running inside the C-channel. Another use case is just for general frames and tables. For instance, we've made this cage here, which um, is to house one of our CNC machines to contain the noise. So we've just made this out of V-slot extrusion using angled corners, angled plates to create a structure for the frame. And then we're gonna inset the holes of the frame with a perspex to shield anyone from cutting debris and help contain the noise. You've probably seen on our uh, other YouTube videos our D-Bot 3D printer. The D-Bot is a design which purely uses V-slot extrusion for the frame and the motion of it. The V-slot being very smooth it's just ideal for 3D printing where very smooth linear motion is needed. You can actually find the design for the D-Bot on Thingiverse, just Google Thingiverse D-Bot and it'll be the first one in the links. V-Slot can also be used in a lot of other applications that I haven't mentioned. One good example is woodworking. People make woodworking fences out of it to make repeatable cuts on their MDF or any other material they are using. 10 Minute Workshop, a channel on YouTube has a great video on how to make a fence dog using our V-Slot extrusion. I'll make a link to that video in the description. V-Slot Extrusion is all available on our website. So on there, you can select which extrusion you want. 
the colour you want and there's an input box where you enter the length you want. When you enter the length, just round it up or down to the whole millimetre and we'll cut it to the exact size to 0.1 millimetre accuracy using our very expensive machine which cuts it very precise. On the listing, you can also select whether you want the holes tapped or not. So we just will tap this to M5 tap, uh, 10 mil deep to accept the M5 bolt. So you can choose to have that no end, one end, or also both ends. Our VSO extrusion is available in any length up to three meters. You only pay for the length you buy. And we also have very quick turnaround on our cut to size service. If you order before 1 p.m., we can usually turn it around the same day. And we also ship worldwide with very reasonable rates. I hope you found this video informative and you got a good insight into VSO extrusion. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel.